pop quiz. Can you get permabanned if you body block a survivor preventing them from advancing the game in Dead by Daylight? Well, let's talk about that exact scenario because that happened to Carol recently and let's have a look at the footage. So we pick things up here at Midwich and Carol mentions that, you know, everybody played normal and then you get down to two survivors. This is where the survivors uh, started to hide. They were not fixing generators and just hiding and not allowing the spirit or the fellow survivors to advance and move on to the next trial. Now the B-roll footage that you're watching of me and my trial, same thing happened to me. I was looking around for the final two survivors. They weren't giving me anything and I think I even had nowhere to hide and I, there was no gens for me to kick to reveal their location. This gets a little sticky here though. Let's watch this next part. I'm not going to body block you in the corner until the server dies. Do you understand this? I'm going to play Mario for a literal hour. Fuck you. So Carol made it clear what their plan was to do was just to let them stay there for an hour <laughs> while the server dies. Because after an hour, no matter what happens, the server dies, the game crashes, and everybody's out. The thing is, though, you see there's David King in the game, and David finally got all the generators fixed, and then opened the exit gate and left, leaving Ada there not being able to do anything because the spirit's there body blocking. Now you can see the timer going down, Ada eventually dies, and, you know, Carol's off. I believe they said they're cleaning, <laughs> so... And they posted this on Twitter and it went pretty viral. It got a lot of views. So from this tweet, as of this recording, it's sitting at over 300,000 views. Just kind of going like, why haven't they fixed this kind of scenario? It doesn't happen all the time, but it does happen often enough for killer mains to be very annoyed by it. And I'm showing you footage of this happening to me. It might've been in this on the same night. It was super annoying running around looking for these rats who don't want to be found. They want to, one of them wants to get the hatch. They want to wait until one gets found. And what am I supposed to do at this point? Am I supposed to, if I find one, do I slug them and then hope I find the other? Like what's the play here? Getting back to Carol though, let's have a look at footage of when they were streaming and got banned while they were live. I'm not saying Moira is good, I'm just saying she's annoying. For the amount of effort we need to put in to kill a Moira. Okay. You have been banned. Oh my god, that's insane. Ban ends. When is that? That's really funny. So the reason they were banned, it said on screen, for griefing intentional gameplay abuse. And the date was given, and it was a two-week ban. Now, if we take a look at what actions will result in a temporary ban, under griefing intentional gameplay abuse, there's working with the opposite team to gain an advantage or grief teammates, targeting specific users repeatedly in order to ruin their game experience, or holding the game hostage. It seems to be the holding the game hostage thing, but the thing is, the David King was free to do the generators and still advance the game. Should this have been a ban at all? What are your thoughts? I think there's some controversy over whether this is even bannable. Now, about a day later, Carol shared this screenshot showing that the ban was changed to a permanent ban rather than just the two week suspension. That I think is really extreme and has to be a mistake. Now let's have a quick look at what actions will result in a permanent ban. Now, a lot of these things speak to hacking in game. There was no hacking going on here. Cheating progress, modifying your save file. No proof of that in this clip. Threats. 
excessive or serious threats against someone, including docs threats, life threats, disclosing private information, etc. And also they mention other hacks. None of that happened, so this does not warrant a permanent ban. You might think to yourself, well, if Carol has maybe done bad things in the past, maybe it led up to this and maybe it's just escalating as a result. Now, if we look at the tweet there, Carol says that's their first offense. And if we look at the progression of temporary bans, it's 48 hours, one week, one month, and then permanent. Now it says here, based on the severity of your offense, as well as how many previous bans you've received, your temporary ban should align to the timeframes listed below. Two days, one week, one month, and then permanent. This is a sliding scale and is determined on a case-by-case -case basis. If an offense is considered to be particularly egregious, the duration of the ban may skip one or more steps in the process. Note, any previous permanent bans in your record, including those from previous accounts, will result in all future offenses being permanent bans. Now, if we're taking Carol at face value, I see no reason why we shouldn't and this is their first offense and their first time being banned. And it looks to me like they did accept and acknowledge the original two week ban, not really making a big complaint about it, just kind of saying, oh, it was worth it, kind of joking around about it. But then it escalated to this permanent ban. That seems really excessive. This actually does feel like a mistake. And I believe that has happened in the past with behavior. Now, I did just spend the last 20 minutes or so trying to find those tweets of the person who was accidentally permanent banned. And because people caused a big stink on Twitter, they were unbanned. And it was deemed to be a mistake. I wish I could find the tweets for you. If you can find it, let me know. And we'll uh, pin that in the comments or something like that. Now, I do hope that behavior fixes this issue because... It, it does feel like a mistake. It does. It is concerning if it is a mistake that it could potentially happen to any one of us, you know, getting a, a, a temporary ban. You know, it could happen to any of us. I'd like to think it could happen to any of us. I know I've gotten kind of upset at the game and have been unkind to certain survivors, we'll just say. And, um, you know... I think what happened here and in the video you're watching right now and in the footage you saw of Carol, there is definitely a big hole in this game. There's a big issue when it gets down to two people and they're both just playing like rats. There has to be something. There has to be some kind of mechanic where you just get loud noise, like they get crows or something. If they haven't touched a generator for two minutes obviously they're not advancing the game and they're just hoping to get hatched hoping the other person gets found first and that's what happened right here you know the Fung Min uh, just hid the entire trial and uh, of course I believe did escape and we had some choice words in the end game chat and I just don't understand it I, I don't understand this mindset uh, for survivors you know, the footage you're watching here is just a sliver of the gameplay in my trial. And uh, Carol mentioned that their round went for 26 minutes. I believe mine was in the neighborhood of 24 to 25 minutes. Now, I believe the survivors just wanted me to leave the trial. Just quit, move on, and they get the, the, the free points for me leaving. But I didn't want to do that. But... My time is very limited when I'm playing DVD these days, so it's really unfortunate that that even happened at all. And this doesn't happen every time I play, but when it does happen, it's really, really annoying, gets on my nerves, and I just, I don't know, it's such a waste of time. There has to be some kind of solution to this. In the meantime, if you do want to join the masses on Dead by Daylight Twitter, there is a hashtag, hashtag free Carol. Uh, feel free to hit up the Dead by Daylight account. Try to get their attention. Let's get to the bottom of this. This is excessive, probably a mistake. 
And it's really unfortunate that we have to use the power of social media to get to the bottom of this to find out why this happened. And let's hope this doesn't happen to any other gamers in the future. Hashtag free Carol. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you in the next video.